Hey everyone, I am here with the Spring Collection, the Pretties for Your Face Spring Collection. Uh, that at the moment of filming this, I haven't really named yet, but I think it's gonna be Fairy Garden, or at least Fairy Garden related, because I was very inspired with the colors. Uh, just like Fairy Garden-esque type colors. So, there's a whole bunch of stuff coming out in this collection as well as fragrances, which there's no point in me showing you fragrances, but I will have sent descriptions up on the site when the collection comes out. Um, so let's just get into this and I will show you everything that's coming out. Um, there are two new lip balms coming out. Why is my lighting so wonky right now? Um, these are plumping bombs, so we have icy and spicy. This one is a peppermint one, and this one is a cinnamon one, and this has been requested several times since I came out with the plumping bomb years ago with one of the, the um, Nightmare Before Christmas themed collection, and I, I figured it would be a good idea to have them as a set, so they're going to be available as a set, or, of course, a lot of people have like a love-hate relationship with cinnamon and peppermint so if you only want one or the other I'll have them available separately too. They are not colored or anything they're just the plain plain lip balms sorry my hands are all stained plain lip balm same formula as what you're used to except they are plumping and I didn't go crazy with it I don't like plumping bombs that hurt or are painful, <laughs> but they're tingly. So obviously if you're allergic to cinnamon or peppermint, do not, do not purchase, but they're just tingly bombs. They're not really like the painful, painful type. <laughs> so the next thing we have is a new whipped highlighter and it's called Illusion. So this one, let's see if I can get a good, oh my goodness, it does not want to focus. There we go. That might be too bright, my little side light over here to try and help me show shifts, but this is a really pretty, I want to say subtle, but it's not really subtle. <laughs> if you tap it on, let's see, I want to show you as best I can. That's just kind of lightly. It's going to give like a crazy glow, but nothing like, it's not cut. It doesn't have like a pink or anything to it. It's a very, you can sheer it out. That's probably a better way to show you. So there's a little bit of sparkle in it, but it's just gonna give you like this dewy, glowy look. So that is what Illusion looks like. I should have grabbed some makeup wipes so I can clean my hand off in between swatches here. Okay. Then there's three new loose glitters. These are just little sample jars so that I can show you the colors. But um, this one is Rainbow Dimension. It's a really awesome holographic, teeny tiny, finely milled holographic glitter. Um, and I know I'm gonna get asked, these glitters are eco-friendly, so they're, they're not plastic glitters or anything that is going to be super harmful to the environment. Let me see, I'm going to try and get the hollow to show up. It's always so hard to film this kind of stuff. I am, so, <laughs> my fingers are so stained. That's from dyeing eggs with my son for Easter. So <laughs> I apologize for that. I couldn't get it to come off my hands. All right, and then we have this one that is Chasing Rainbows. So this is more of your like iridescent light rainbow colored glitter. And when you get the full size jars and everything, they have the, the shaker lids so that they don't make a mess. And then this one is so pretty. This is over the rainbow. And while it's not technically rainbow, it's like a greenish multi-chrome glitter, I guess. I don't know how you would describe that. There's all kinds of gold and orange in there. 
super duper pretty glitter. So those are the three loose glitters. And then we have a new lustrous dust, which is like loose highlighter slash multi-use loose powder. And this one is called Rain Washed. And it's a very pale, like seafoam green. I'm gonna show it to you on my finger and then there's like yeast flying by the window if you heard that noise that just went by. This is so pretty as like an inner corner highlight. That I don't have any base or anything on my hand. I'm just swatching straight up to show you what these look like. Now we're gonna get into the shadows and highlighters, which I am super excited about. So we have a little bit of everything in this collection. These two are polymorph pigments. This one is a sparklers formula. These two are just metallic eyeshadows. These two are mattes, which I know a lot of people will be excited about because I've had so many requests to like expand my my collection and make more mattes. And mattes are really hard to formulate, so they take me a long time to get right. And I wanted to include these two in this collection because I knew I was gonna have like sort of earthy tones. Um, so we'll just get to it when we get to it. But I'm gonna swatch the two polymorph pigments first. Yes, they're both green. I have like had a thing for green eyeshadows lately, but they're both so pretty. I put this one up the other day um, as a preview on Instagram and everybody seemed to really be excited about it. So this one is called Grasshopper. You know what, I'm gonna put it on my little shadow holder stick thingy to hopefully be able to show it to you better. My camera's not gonna wanna focus, right? I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have this stuff in the background when I'm all right, let's try this again. So this is Grasshopper, and it's a really pretty, like, deep emerald green, and it's got like a brownish, purpley shift to it. I don't know how well it's gonna come across in the pan, but I am going to swatch it and hopefully be able to show it better to you. All right, so let's do a swatch of Grasshopper. It's one of those like super smooth metallic shades and it's got a ton of gold in it, little bits of brown. That was a very messy swatch, I apologize for that, but it's so pretty. This is kind of purpley in certain lights. So that is Grasshopper. There is Meadow. This is another really pretty green. This is more of like a true green. Uh, where did I put that? There we go. I'm trying to get the this magnet so I can show it to you a little bit better. This one has more of like a turquoise shift to it. I wish the camera would stop going out of focus. Oh my goodness, stop going out of focus on me. This camera just doesn't like me lately. I hate filming with this. There we go, stay in focus. So, <laughs> okay, don't listen to me. Now I'm gonna give a swatch so that we can see it a little better. This one's also really smooth. give another swatch here because it didn't want to stick. There we go. So you can see really good in this one how it's like that bright green at the top and then it kind of shifts to that turquoisey color. This is one of my favorite shades. I love this so much. My favorite new shades, I mean. 
So this one is called Meadow. And we have this one that is, if you like my sparkler shadow formula, you will love this one. This one is a pretty unique color and it's called Lullaby. So it's got like, you'll see when I swatch it, it's got some olive in there and it's just, it's got tons and tons of sparkle. Yeah, it might be better if I use this instead of the... Let me try using this and see how it does. Yeah, you definitely can't tell on... Oh, there. <laughs> you definitely can't tell on camera that it's got like olive -y undertones, but hopefully it's going to come through when I swatch it and you'll be able to see. When you swatch, you can kind of tell that it's got that unique olive, like a matte olive base to it. And almost like champagne, a champagne shift and then tons of silver sparkle. I am horrible at describing colors sometimes, but Hopefully you can see what I mean. So that one's really cool. That one's called Illu uh, Lullaby. <laughs> Illusion was the the whipped eyeshadow, uh, whipped highlighter. Oh my gosh, I shouldn't be filming this when I'm like almost ready for bed because <laughs> I've been working all day and I'm very tired right now. All right, then we get into the couple of metallic shades. This one is called Dreamscape. I should have been showing the labels as I was going, but this one is another one that it looks like an olive in the pan, but it's like a deep, these are so hard to describe. It's like a really deep brown, but it's got this gorgeous, not really pink, but like, almost a rose gold shimmer in it. Really soft and smooth, super pigmented. This one is Dreamscape. We have Stardew, which is a really pretty blue, like a, not really sky blue, but a very pale blue. This one I would say is a metallic finish, but it also has some sparkle in it. So this one you can definitely shear it out if you want to, or just build it up. And it is that pale blue base that has a ton of, like a silvery blue to lavender shift that I'm trying to get to come across and it doesn't really want to <laughs> in this lighting. It is so pretty in person though. There we go, you can kind of see the shift in this one. It's hard to show this one because it's so like reflective. So that one is Stardew. Maybe if I put the rest of what's on my finger, you can see. You can definitely shear it out. Could use this one as a highlighter for sure if you used it really, really lightly. Which, like I said, mattes have been highly requested and I'm working on like slowly building up that matte selection that's on the website um but i wanted it's taken me so long because i want them to be really good so the thing i get asked most is can you make some more shadows that have the same finish to them as like fried oreo does because that one's a really big seller fried oreo and soot are two of like my only matte shades but everybody loves those colors um this one the almost like reddish brown is called Aub Auburn Breeze and it's got that same super smooth formula there's so much traffic going by now as fried Oreo and soot does so this is a matte reddish brown super like creamy without being a cream formula. I don't I don't like describing mattes as creamy, but it feels nice and smooth in the pan. So that one is 
or uh, Auburn Breeze. I don't know why I can't say the word Auburn. And then Fresh Cedar is more of like a camel color. And this one is also that nice smooth formula. That is a fresh cedar. So a couple of neutral mattes in the collection to kind of round out the other shadows. Um, I like using this one in the crease a lot. I always test my own eyeshadows when I make them, so I've been using this one a lot and I like that one. Um, but the reddish brown one is really pretty too. I have brown eyes though, so I don't tend to use brown eyeshadow a lot. I don't know why, I just don't think it looks that great on me, so. Um, all right, and then the last thing are these two highlighters. They're in little pans because they're, they're available in this size pan if you want to get them in eyeshadow pans, but these are like my testers, so I just made small pans of them. This one is Daydreamer. And it's kind of like a very pale, dusty mauve, and it's got that turquoise, sh well, like a white turquoise shift in it that everybody seems to like. The same kind of shift that Light as a Feather has and Fame. Those are two really popular shades on the site. So it's like this very pale, I keep wanting to say dusty mauve because when it's not in, not hitting the light directly, it's a very light mauve shade. And I'll leave that on my hand so I can swatch the other one next to it for you. This one is imaginary and it's on the same idea, but it's got more of a pink to it. So it's got that same white turquoisey shift to it. but it's more pink. You can see when it's not directly at the camera, you can see the, the undertones of them. So almost like that beigey, dusty mauve color and a pink. So they're both super pretty. I actually made this one first and then I was like, I wanna make one to like complement it. I think they look really nice together. Even like as blushes, if you like a metallic blush. Super pretty. So, and then even if you wanted to get both of them and mix them together, you'd get another pinky mauve color. <laughs> but I just, I love using that that turquoisey shift because it reflects so nice and it's so pretty in highlighters. So that is everything except for, of course, the Bath and Body products, which will be available when all the spring stuff comes out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this super long swatch video. <laughs> See if I can get a shot of everything. My computer mouse is right there in the way. So the plumping lip balms, the illusion whipped highlighter, the three loose glitters, and the lustrous dust. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so excited about this collection. I feel like it's not typical bright colored springtime stuff, like pastels or bright colors, but I'm loving it. <laughs> I don't I don't know what made me go in the the fairy dust fairy garden direction. I just have a piece of eyeshadow there. But I really liked these colors together and I just think it works as a collection as a whole. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you in my next video.